And now to talk about our module of the week, let's bring in Martin Anderson Klutz, a senior solutions engineer at Aquia and maintainer of a number of modules of his own. Martin, what do you have for us this week? Thanks, Nick. I thought this week we would talk about the WordPress Migrate module, which supports migrating WordPress exports into Drupal, including posts, pages, attachments, tags, and categories. The module was originally created in December of 2010, but it has a more recent 8.x-3.0 alpha 5 version that was created in October of 2021 seems to have a release about every year, year and a half, so probably due for a new release to establish Drupal 10 compatibility. And it currently has 76 open issues, 43 of which are for the 8.x branch, and of those, 14 are bugs, which is not bad considering the site is officially listed as being in use by over 2,000 websites, though that number could easily be underestimated because I imagine it's the kind of a module that a site would use once sort of at launch and then potentially disable. Uh, the most recent releases appear to be by uh, Hong Pong, who actually looks like joined Drupal.org within a couple of months of me uh, over 16 years ago. And uh, talking a little bit more about the module, it really leverages the migrate module that's in Drupal core to ingest the WXR files that WordPress can generate. It also relies on migrate tools and the ctools modules, again, kind of under the hood. Um, also worth noting that WordPress uh, looks like has a tool for exporting users separately. And so that file would need to be ingested separately by something like the user CSV import module. So let's talk about the either the WordPress migrate module or more generally experiences anybody's had kind of migrating content from a WordPress site into Drupal. Oh, can I ask a clarifying question? Because I just had to look this up. WXR files are specific to WordPress, it seems. Is that correct? That's my understanding, yes. Yeah, OK. Because I just looked it up, and it stands for uh, WordPress uh, Exta Expanded RSS, I think, or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are uh, similar to RSS. And uh, and to be honest, uh, I the, the the biggest problem right now is uh, with the with the newest editor. So the moment when when WordPress started playing around with uh, with Gutenberg, which is really nice for for the users. It's it's horrible for the developers because um, when 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 the decision was made about working about creating the new editor this, this Gutenberg, um, they wanted to make it as backward compatible as like everything in WordPress. So uh, the data is saved as HTML in like in the in the content. Hmm. So if you would like to parse it, well. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, I imagine I imagine the WordPress migrate module will uh, will have a, probably some sort of update to, to handle that, um, bringing that into Drupal. Because I mean, that's a, probably essentially a straight a straight migration of like HTML from one place, drop it in into HTML in another place. Right? Uh, yes, not but the question is, do you want to migrate the whole HTML, or would you prefer? Uh, this to like divide it into into data because uh, yeah. when you create those blocks uh, you like um, there are two approaches one is for the dynamic blocks when you like literally save uh, that some variable equals this some equals this and then you connect it with the template which is quite easier uh, later on to, to to separate the data from from the rest because it is already separated. And the second way is you have the HTML and you like inform the block that uh, in the H1, there is the title. In the div with some class, there is uh, the description. Right. Uh, some And so on and so on. So if you would like to move this data to another CMS, yeah, it's, it's not so fun, right? Yeah. Played around yeah, with this um, more with statement. It wasn't fun at all. Yeah, Gutenberg is structured data, essentially, but it's storing the data as just rendered output in the database. So when you're trying to migrate that, you're you're either parsing HTML directly or you're losing that structured element of the data when you're moving so it in. 
has anybody going back to the module? I'm just curious. Has anybody used this module? Because I think I I think I looked at it once, like maybe ten years ago, uh, for something. I, I think I'm in this. Never looked. I think I'm in the same camp. I think I used it one time, a very, very, very long time ago. Um, the thing is, usually when I'm migrating, I'm, I, I like to write my own migrations. Uh, so I, I've, I've not used this tool, but I, I'm curious about how how clean it is. It's been a long time since I've looked at it. Yeah, it definitely sounds as though, depending on what editor was being used on the WordPress site, hmm. it may yeah. work very smoothly or or... You know, as we yeah. potentially or not. provide some challenges in terms of just ingesting a giant blob of HTML that's meant to be structured. Sorry, I'm, in I'm my sure. head, I just I just likened it to like a Drupal seven to Drupal nine migration, yeah. <laughs> which is like really not a migration; it's a rebuild, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I think the other thing too is it really depends on what plugins you're using WordPress, right? If you're using advanced custom fields versus just native WordPress, those migrations probably change. A decent amount too but you know it's, it's always nice to have tools that get you you know at least give you a good starting point i think drupal in yeah, general exactly. has a lot of robust migration tools uh whether you know I, I think this is an interesting larger conversation you know although you know right now we're talking about wordpress but just in general talking about drupal migration tools is is worthy in itself i don't i can't think if i've ever actually migrated from wordpress to drupal but i've done some weird drupal migrations and yeah it, each time I, it was both difficult and surprisingly smooth, if that makes any sense. And I, I might guess it's the same in this case, even with Gutenberg or, you know, I don't know. I do understand the, the, the different coming from the Drupal world, going and using something like Gutenberg, which I have done it, it, you have kind of have to think about the the structure and the content a little bit differently because you're to my mind it's like oh well i would have done you know you would you would have done this with fields or with you know certain other drupally things and so to translate the two is a bit weird i think i struggle with and, the concept of gutenberg as well and, and we have talked with mauricio a couple of times who's kind of a drupal migration expert on episode 352 and episode 295 if you're curious about that hearing more about migration Hmm. Well, thank you, Martin, as always, a great topical watch of the week. Uh, so looking forward to see what you have next week for us. We like